Welcome to Brixton Manor Lifestyle Network. I'm your host, Gidalia Million. Today on House of Fashion, we are visiting Fitzpatrick, which is a men's shoe store located at 101 Thompson Street in Soho. Come with me. Hi, Justin. How are Hello. you? Good. How's it Good going? To see you Likewise. Again. Welcome. Such a pleasure for you to host us at your fabulous store and I want the men to know there's something for everyone and there's nothing like men's shoes right it's and the I, foundation exactly it's the foundation ladies when we go out the first thing we look is at their shoes so I wanted to pay homage to the man himself Justin thank you very much uh, founder of this Fitzpatrick and can you tell me a little bit about your background in the store and yeah. how you founded this fabulous store. Of course. So uh, I'm from Seattle uh, originally, and I was working at Nordstrom at the number one, which is what they call it, which is the first store. Yes. And uh, I, I don't know. It was just felt like there was a serious lacking of good shoes. I would read the magazines that showed the style in Europe and all the shoes there, yeah. and I'd look at what was on offer, and then I'd read about how they always said Americans dress bad. And then I thought, well, how can we dress better if all we have is poor selection available? Nice. We're not all rich yeah. enough to fly to, to London to buy stuff. So I thought, I want to bring, I want to make the coolest shoes possible and bring them to the U.S. so that Americans can dress better. Amazing. So that was kind of my goal. And I just ran with that and tried to learn everything I could about shoes so that I could eventually carry that out. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so I imagine that there is a, a lot of appreciation for your shoe selection. It's like nothing I've seen, and especially when it comes to men's shoes, I think there's everything kind of looks the same. I think you have a, an amazing variety here. Yeah, I so um, I would like to take for you to take me through what do you think would be like the typical shoes for the office versus the typical shoes for hanging out, you know, okay. and then like going out and going to a night out kind of thing. Sure. Um, Cause I know it, I mean, you have some unusual colors for what you would normally see, normally see at Nordstrom, yeah. which I think is great because not every guy wants to wear black, brown and tan. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the versatility here is what separates you from a lot of people and I think the styling of the shoes are, is what also separates you from a lot of other shoe brands so please I'm glad take somebody us. noticed it. yes I noticed <laughs> all right please well, give us a tour I mean yeah so for example on this row here you kind of have these are like our four well two models but four color these are our super classics and you know yes. this is over the years, you know, this is both of these have been with us since day one, since launching the brand. Yes. And that is kind of your common, this is your common office shoe. This can be, this can also be more formal for weddings, etc. Yes. And then, you know, so we, we, we have that for the guys that are more classic, yes. um, but maybe want a Fitzpatrick kind of take, which is, you know, these little details or something that you might not notice but this has three rows of stitching as opposed to one or two these nice. are small details that kind of make the pattern pop yeah but then more of what we like to do is things on kind of this row where it's still classic in design but then goes into more colors kind of uh more playfulness so yeah. lately this model and so these three have been doing quite well for kind of the more modern guy that maybe a pre needs to dress classic but wants something different than yes. the super classic guy. So this is all leather, I take it? Yeah, leather and suede. Suede is a form of leather. But yeah, everything is leather. Super. And then, yeah, for going out, I mean, oh, we're... one question for yeah. you. So on average, what would you say the between these, what would you say on average is the cost, let's say, for this one? Well, this one's 440 so the average 440. kind of dress shoe is... The average lace shoe is around 425. This one's 440. Okay. The loafers are around 415. Um, so that's kind of the starting price for this line. Okay, and then great. Boots go more expensive. Yeah, um, and this is we're in the winter season, so I think this is great because you're getting a selection of boots um, with really great designs. Thank you. Yeah. So we're and beautiful details. I just love the details with all these shoes. And once again, this is, you know, when you look down at a man's shoe, 
Mm. You know, this is quite impressive. Thank you. And we like, uh, we're big fans of boots, so you can see the variety and boot heaviness. Um, you know, a whole wall just for boots and various boots that you really won't see at other brands because this is where I kind of like to let my design come out. So, um, you know, I've always been super uh, a fan of these two kind of models here. So the, the Victorian style, the button boot, yes. and then this kind of hiking style. But I never liked how chunky the hikers were, so I wanted to make it more kind of slimmed down and city appropriate as opposed yes. to mountain appropriate. Yes. And so, especially in a place like New York where it's freezing and it's snowy or it's wet, and uh, you know, you go from maybe the office to out, and you don't really want to be carrying multiple shoes, so something that can be practical but elegant at the same time. Yeah, I really do like this one. I think this is great. I love the color and I love the versatility. And if you look at the tracks on the bottom. It's light, so a lot of times these soles, we found one that was pretty light in weight. A lot of times they're really heavy and it's yes. almost like you've got bricks on your feet, but they're actually not too heavy, which is nice. And then, so yeah, so the button boot we're quite known for because really not too many brands offer that. And so that's really for the guy that just really wants to be different, you know, the guys that wear these types of shoes obviously care about style and how they look. Yes, and, I, uh, yeah. I do think this is a great detail when he's referring to the button boot. And I love the fact that these are different colors. Mm. There's a great contrast. Um, and I think it is a, very much of a stylish look. Um, I like this color as well. I think this is beautiful and very versatile. And I think like when I, when you think about winter, you think tweed, you mm. think leather, you think fur and so on. I love the tweed effect mm. on this as a detail. So I think this is beautiful. On average, what would you say? Oh, one more question. Yeah. Actually, from the boot section, I really do love this shoe. Yeah, this is one of our newer models and designs. Yeah, I am obsessed with this. This mm. is beautiful. Thank you. I like the buckle details, all of this. It looks elegant. It looks like you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with a pair of jeans and wear it with like, you mm. know, office clothing. So I can really, I, I think you would really appreciate this. Mm, definitely. So on average, what would you say are like, for example, how much is this one? So the boots are between 525 and 545. Okay. And this one is 545. And I love this one. And when it comes to the button boots. They're all 545. This one is also 545. So, so you get a, an opportunity to look at the range of prices. Okay, what else can you show us? Uh, we have our made to order section. So uh, an extension of the J Fitzpatrick line, which is the higher end line, is kind of the made to order uh, department, so to speak. And that yes. is where, you know, if there's something you don't care for on the ready to wear side or maybe you like a model but we don't have the color you want yes. you can order it so we have swatches of leather and you can pick you know you can just looking at that shoe is kind of a good example of what can be done with made to order so you can change the shape change the colors you can add different soles you could add a, a brogue detail so like a medallion and so you can kind of play around with the details to create exactly what you want so you're getting a custom made, your own unique pair of shoes at Fitzpatrick. Yes. So do you have like a swatch card where you pull it out and you said these are all the... Oh, well, I got a bunch of leathers. It's not so pretty as a swatch card. Oh, okay. I see, I see. I <laughs> a see. lot of leather books. It's not, uh, it's hard to put it all in one place because there's so many options I can choose from. But this is a great display, you would say, as far as like a good enough display for, for the the options that one as far as colors go towards. yeah yeah i mean i don't have this is a fraction of the models we have wow but you can at least get an idea of the leathers here yes of course so and and these are for what would you say this is casual wear i mean they're all dress shoes yeah. whether you choose to dress them kind of dress casual you know yes like i like to just normally i'm not in three-piece suits i wear jeans and a sport coat you know and a dress shoe so and you can wear I'm... you can dress it up dress it down yeah i mean i think that just really is dictated by 
your style and confidence as opposed to the shoe. Yeah. Mm. So I think, like for example, something like this is something that I could see anyone dressing up, dressing, dressing down very easily. I really like this one, and I know this is unusual because this reminds me of denim jeans. Mm. And I know this is like a thing that, you like know. Washed out denim jeans. Yeah, washed out denim jeans. That's like very, that's a very unusual look. And I think for a guy who's into fashion, this might be very interesting in the summer to have something like this that you wear or in the springtime mm. with more like white. Mm -hmm. Would you say you would wear this with linen? Uh, I don't wear a lot of linen, but we could ask, <laughs> I'm sure my business partner would, but uh, okay. I don't typically wear linen. Yeah, mm. I think it's a great color though. And how much would you say the range for these? Well, so made to order is, uh, it's just an added fee to the shoes retail price. So yes. uh, for low shoes, basically anything not a boot, it's 125 on top. And then for boots, it's 150 on top of the retail price of the model. So whatever design that you, you pick the shoe itself, let's say yeah. this one, yeah. and whatever design you want to add on, it's 125 in addition. Yeah. So this one here, is 550, so it'd be. No, 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 if that's with the price included. So normally this is 425, so then it's 550 with the 125. Oh, so mm. it's already added to it's the already, cost. Yeah, we priced it already. Oh, amazing. Mm. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because then you kind of, there's like the whole sticker shock thing, because you look at it and you think of something and then you find mm. out you're going to have, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. And I think I really like this one. Is this also, these are also made to order shoes? Yeah, that's not a model that we're offering at the moment ready to wear, so you have to order this one. Nice. Mm. And I think these are great for once again, the guy that wants to wear the high boots, but want it to look chic and elegant. Um, this is a beautiful pair of shoe. Um, it's about 695 and it comes in a multitude of colors. You can design it how you see fit. Um, so I was looking at something more casual. Yeah. I'm thinking in my mind, because I don't know a lot about men's shoes, but I do know if it looks good, it looks good. When it doesn't, it mm. doesn't. Yeah. So this, I think, when I look at this, I think more of a casual. For sure, this is super casual. Yes. You would never wear this with a suit. You shouldn't. And if you, you do, I don't know, it's not my. Not my style. According to him, <laughs> you can't wear this with a suit. Um, but I love these. I feel like these are great for jeans. Once again, I think, you know, if you don't want to be leather heavy, this is an amazing look for wearing linen, which I love men in linen in the summertime, in the springtime. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. There are a variety of colors. Some of them are lighter than others. You would say this is more of a, is this more of a winter? It's like a play on both because it's a loafer, which ideally is a spring summer model. Yes. But then tweed, yes, is generally seen as a, something you wear in the colder months. Yes. So it's kind of a combination of both. Um, I, the, the reason to put it in tweed is to make it more casual. If that was leather, it'd be slightly dressier. Yes. I also don't think it'd be as appealing. Of course. Um, so you can really wear these all year round. Some people yes. think, oh, but you shouldn't have the tweed in the summer, but it's, it's really a non-issue because it's leather lined and yes, of it's course. not like it's trapping your feet in there. Nice, and this one is about 450. Gorgeous shoes. I love the variety of colors in this one. The blue is my favorite because blue is one of my favorite colors. So would you say um, if someone had to pick three pair of shoes that you must have in your closet as a man, mm -hmm. like the one that you're going to wear, like for casual, the one for the office, and since we're in the fall and winter, one that you must have that's very versatile for the season, which three pair of shoes would you select for them? Okay, well, I'll go back over here. Okay. Um, I mean, I think uh, for, the, for the average guy, um, I think everybody, every guy should have a chukka boot, which is this kind of no frills boot that you just slip on. I think for the average guy, that's just one of the easiest kind of I agree. dress boots, dress casual boots to wear. Even the guys that don't care anything about dress shoes own stuff like this. So yes, I, I think agree. it's kind of a quintessential man's model. 
Yeah, um, it does look good. It's classic. It's a no-brainer. It's very easy to wear with most things. Exactly. So. Um, and then, yeah, as far as... I would say three is tough because uh, I might think four, but if we have to stick okay, to three... Okay, let's do four then. Let's uh, do four. I'm not, I'm not limited <laughs> to three. Well, definitely a solid loafer for the springtime. Yes. Uh, we specialize in a butterfly design, which I really like. It's very British, and I think it's nice because it looks really cool with jeans, but also sharp with suits. So nice. this is kind of my uh, heart's desire there. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, a guy, every guy that works in an office environment needs a solid Oxford shoe. Yes. You know, most classic guys are probably going to go towards something like that. Okay. Um, I think a hole cut is very easy for most guys because it can go from formal to, you know, semi-casual. So that's kind of a standard model as well. Very nice. And then if we're going to do a fourth, I think a chuck -a boot is great because it can transition between all seasons. Uh, so this, whether it's in suede or leather, I personally like like a dark brown suede one. So what is the, I mean, aesthetic, this is chucka boot. That's Chelsea boot. That's Chelsea boot. Yeah, and, and this that's is a chucka boot. Chucka boot. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. And this one I think is great because once again, versatility when it comes to colors. I really love that. Um, the blue is amazing. I'm very biased, by the way, just so you know. Um, and how much is this going for? This one is three fifteen. So this is an amazing price, and this is suede. I take mm -hmm. it. Beautiful suede shoes. Would you say you can wear this in the springtime as well? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So this one is great. So the one thing that I really love, though, that we didn't talk about, are these shoes here, simply because this is so chic. And this is so relaxed, but yeah, it's such a clean finish. Mm. And I think it would look great on any guy. And I love the uh, variety of colors that we have. Um, gray is a neutral, so it matches with everything. You can't go wrong. Um, black is classic, of course, but obviously everybody can have 500 black shoes. Mm -hmm. I love the white. I think white shoes look great on men. You just have to know what to wear it with because otherwise it can look a bit odd. Um, and the tan, if you want a mix of both, this is a great look. So I think um, there's an amazing selection here at Fitzpatrick. Thank you. And of course, Justin is the designer and the mastermind behind all of these great shoes. And would you say that in the spring season, summer season, you have a different selection of shoes or does oh, it remain yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay, so you should come here, of course, for the fall season and this, the winter season to look at this amazing collection and everything will turn around and uh, you have fresh, beautiful... Uh, bright colors, bright, more loafers. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. More exciting shoes. If you're looking for something that is unique, you're looking for something that is not uh, the typical that you'll find at Nordstrom and you can make your own uh, shoes. Um, Justin is the man. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. And Justin, thank, thank you. you so much for being a pleasure. here to host us. And we look forward to seeing you again. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.